If you're the nominee, you're expected to face criticism such as President Trump stating, quote, America will never be a socialist country, end quote. For Americans who hold this concern, whether well-founded or not, how would you successfully overcome that kind of labeling to convince them to vote for you? Good. Well, in two ways. Uh, in many ways, Donald Trump is a socialist himself. He is a socialist who believes in massive help to large corporations and the rich. When Trump was a private businessman, he's a real estate developer, he himself received some $800 million in tax breaks and subsidies to build luxury condominiums. That's called socialism for the very, very rich. When we give tax breaks and subsidies to the fossil fuel industry to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars so they can produce a product which is destroying the planet, this is called socialism for large corporations, corporate socialism. Now, my definition of socialism, needless to say, is a little bit different. And I think if you look at countries around the world, look at countries in Scandinavia, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, what do they have? Everybody in those countries has health care as a human right. They vary a little bit, but by and large, it is a right. You don't have to take out your wallet. It is available to all people. In those countries, Germany, other countries, higher education is basically free. In those countries, you have strong child care systems. So mom and dad can go to work and know that their kids are going to be in high quality, affordable child care. Their housing programs are strong. In other words, they have run governments which have policies designed to help the working families and the middle class. So I know that Trump will distort anything and everything I believe. And by the way, he'll call any Democrat a socialist. So, you know, that will happen. But we will discuss what democratic socialism means as opposed to the corporate socialism uh, that Trump believes in.